Now with Paul Nolan's farrier, David O'Connell, better known to other people as Corky. How are things, Corky? Good, yourself, Dave? Well, not bad, not bad. Um, busy as always? Yeah, do a small bit. Couple of sets every day. Keep it quiet. That's good. And um, how many how many yards would you try and cover now in a week? Ah, uh, five or six. Yeah. Be here and Colin Bow, Dennis Murphy, a few of the dog burrs, and a bit of main bunch of lads. How long are you at this now, Corky? 22 years showing horses. Yeah, obviously, it's such a tough job, you have to enjoy it if you're going to do it this long. Yeah, I love it. I don't think I do anything else. Wouldn't be able to try to be a jock, but got too heavy. <laughs> 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 That's my excuse when I'm sticking. And you have a young apprentice here. Yeah, Philly. Going well for you. Oh, yeah. Great. Every day is a pleasure. Every day is a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that. Wouldn't be easy. And uh, Corky, you have um, you have a few horses as well. You have, I hear you have a nice point to pointer who's yeah. due to run soon. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Everything, everything going well so far, yeah. What's he by? Milan. It's nice to have a bit of interest. You're working so hard with the horses that you have. A horse to the part of a race and you watch him running, you know? Yeah. It's, like it's, it's a tough job, as you said yourself, and you have to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you've done well before selling a couple before. You had a bit of luck. A small bit of luck, yeah. So, uh, a good dive, a few for the look, thank God, yeah. And you shoot for the boys as well? Yeah. A few sets for the boys. And tell us what you're doing here now, Corky. I'm just plating up this the mooch. He's running the weekend. We should put the light Tomorrow shoes. he runs, Tomorrow, yeah? Tomorrow he runs, actually. We should put the light shoes on him for the weekend. Okay. And why is that to, to someone that might know about this? Making lighter shoes compared to a pair of welts to run us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The lighter, you can run faster and... Hopefully this lad will go faster. And how long will these last on this lad now till when you come back again to do them? Three weeks. You'll have to be done again. And what about the heavier shoes then? The heavier sh shoes you have about five to six weeks out of them. Okay. The longer you. Heavier on. Put aluminium on them in front. A nice seal behind. How many nails now per seven shoe? Seven nails, just putting in the nails here now, seven nails. Where do you get all your shoes from, Corky? I get them off um, Barry O'Driscoll, Well Shot Limits, the company. Okay. He's, in, he's out there in Marsh. Um. Would it be right in saying that's who you served your yeah, apprenticeship with? Yeah, I time with him. Seven. He taught you everything you know? Yeah. He's, uh, my father taught me myself something. <laughs> <laughs> Modest as ever, huh? Yeah. And and Corky, you're um you recently got engaged. You're 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 getting married soon. Yeah, I get married in October. Six to October. What a woman, huh? Any woman, any any woman to pull with you must be some woman, huh? I'm a gentleman. That's true. And how many horses are you doing here today, Corky? I think we've only about three or four on our list today. So it was handy. So, how many sets is an average day? About five. Five sets? Five or six, yeah. It takes it nice and easy. Don't kill yourself. No, don't kill yourself. Don't and what about, and what about, what about the back? Want, don't walk the apprentice too hard, you know? <laughs> yeah. And what, and what about the back, Corky? It's my obviously tough very, on your back, is it? My back is very good, but I keep very fit. You do a lot of cycling? A lot of cycling and swimming. Okay. If you got lazy at all, it would catch up on you, would it? Yeah. I think it's very important for farriers now that it's stay fit. Okay. It's like, you know, you're like a professional jockey, or you're a jockey. You have to dedicate a lot of time to it, and you have to be fit, or you won't survive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because your back is so important. My back gave me trouble before, and when I decided to get fit, do a lot of running and training, it all changed. You found it a lot easier to deal yeah, with it? Yeah, a lot easier. A lot easier. No pain then. And to anyone that wouldn't know now, just explain what you're doing here now. I'm just pairing up the foot now. It's like your own toenails. We have to go in long and just cutting the hoof down a bit. Make sure they're sharper. Trim up. Get the shoe. Get the light steel again. It's done tomorrow. Now I'm going to shave with the hammer. Just the. Uh, Knock the shoe into shape for the 
for the foot. Obviously, they all like like humans as well. Horses, all their feet are all different shapes yeah, and sizes. Different shapes, so. Yeah, it's great these race horses. They're very quiet. Look, this fella's so quiet. He's, he just stands there, you know. What about when you get some very tough ones? Ah, sure. It's a lot easier now. This is not be tough. Even though if you were with us this morning, we were doing some half breads for, for another client of mine. It would have been an interesting tape. What are you? Yeah? Very interesting. Sure, I might go with you someday. I day. think you should come with. Who is that? Eddie Kelly. Okay. Sure. I we'll think it will be some hits. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll make the trip with you someday then. Yeah. It will be an experience to show some of the difference between this horse and them. I'm just hot on the layers now. Yeah. And Philly will come along and clinch him. Okay. How long is Philly with you now? He's a year with me now. And how long will it take for him four to be? Four years. Four years. Then he'd be fully qualified then? Fully qualified, goes to college for a year. Fully qualified. Up hopefully. in the apprentice school, up in Clare? Clare, yeah. Hopefully then he'd be as good as me. Jeez, surely that's not possible, is it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and then he'd be ready to leave the nest then, he will? Yeah, get another lad in. He just turned the nails down and put him up. Yeah, so you enjoy, enjoy what you do, Philly? Oh, I absolutely love it. I just, I'm just so grateful that I'm with David. I just don't think I'd have the same experience if I was with anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking, he's one of the chosen ones. Can you just explain now what, what you're doing here now? Sure, you just come along with the rasp underneath the nails, just so you're, just so when you put the nail down, it's a little bit further down, down in the hoof, and then you just come over with the rasp and make Eating it all nice and smooth. And Corky, is it important? I see you, you put a bit of oil on the front when you when you finish the front. Is it is it important to yeah, for important. to keeping them strong in that? Yeah, very important for moisture. Get better into the feet. But so this time of year, the weather's so dry, and if you're allowed to get very dry, dry. So when you put oil, you make sure they're the feet and head to foot in a big way. We always oil them up after um, shoeing. They obviously lose a lot more shoes this time of year with the muck and everything yeah, when they get stuck up. Yeah, a lot in harder. It. Yeah. Well, listen, lads, I'll leave this to you. I know you have a tough job, so listen, Corky, thanks, thanks very much. Very much Davey. Thanks, Philly. No bother. Best of luck for the next three years, because uh, I think you might need it. <laughs> Cheers, lads.